A former inmate speaks out about how Diddy is allegedly speaking to women through peepholes. You can't make this one up, y'all. What's up? Remember when I told you guys about Diddy trying to holler at girls or at least seeing girls through peepholes in the facility that he's locked up in right now? Yeah, that's actually apparently a real thing. Now we have a former inmate coming in and speaking ab about all the all the things, all the goings ons that happen when it comes to uh, Diddy or any other inmates trying to holler at female in inmates through this actual peephole. I'm not kidding. We got to take a look at this. This is insane. And uh, <sighs> I mean, they. They, you know, they, 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 men, they got blood rushing through their veins. You know what I'm saying? They, they got a same thing with the ladies too, but still, man, is this crazy? You know, it's like a, their own version of OF in prison through a peephole, peephole fans. But let's get into this. This is insane. And you could literally lay down and the females are right below you and you could just yell at them and they yell back and basically like you could. You could kind of see them and they could see you a little bit, but you have to watch out for the guards, obviously. But you can uh, talk with them and, you know, show each other some things sometimes, which I never did any of that. <laughs> but you see, that's the thing. Like, you're, you're seeing them through this peephole, like you're, but you're so only seeing slivers of them. You know what I mean? You, you might see a little, little, you know, a little cheek, little shoulder, little elbow. You feel me? But you're not really seeing every. Like, are you really seeing everything? That's the thing I'm kind of curious about, you know, because the way that they said it, it's like it's almost like they're looking and maybe I have the the jurisdiction, uh, uh, you know, the the the, the geography of this whole thing wrong. But it, it sounds like they are looking down like the guys are looking down and can see them through this peephole through the through the ground. But I, I, I could have that. It could be inaccurate. But that's weird, though. Right. That they're, gonna, they're able to see through these through a, like a great. And, and and be able to see slivers of somebody, but that that person could be just drove. You never know. You know what I'm saying? But okay, let's go. Of course not, Gene. I, I'm actually trying to figure it out. Like you lie down on the floor. Is right. it yeah. is it like a grate? Is there a grate on the floor? Are there cracks or holes in the floor down yeah, to the so floor below? No. Or what is it you're looking through? No. So it's the gates, basically. There's holes in the gates. You can see through them. That's your yard, basically. You have no sun. You have basically just these gates. Oh. And basically, the girls are right there below you, and you could look at each other, basically, like through the, through the gates. And ah. you can see them, obviously. So, so it's not straight down. It's, kind, it's, it's in a diagonal. So you can see them. But, I mean, you know, you really, I mean, what, what can you really, I don't know. I mean, I guess you can get away with a lot of stuff. But still, I'm wondering why wouldn't they just cover up this this peephole? You feel me? You know, why if they already know this, if inmates, uh, if the uh, guards and the, the people of this facility already know that these men are looking through these grates, you know, through this peephole, why wouldn't they just cover it up unless there's some sort of system going on here and they want to see it for themselves too? I don't know. That's weird. And you can speak to them. So do the uh, yeah. and the girls know that they're like, can the girls see the, the men as well? Because the, can the women see the men and the men see the girls at the same time? Hamburger. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Of course. they So can. are they like like some business going on there between them? I mean, I mean, yeah, they have relationships. I think it's ridiculous. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, you know, they're actually like dating each other. It's, it's just really funny. But, you know. I was a short timer and I was there for eight months. I was on a probation violation, so I wasn't really like doing that. But we'd have to look out for them because we're in the room with the door shut and they got to scream a little bit to talk to each other. So we got to let them know, hey, the guards walking, get up. You know what I mean? So it's like a whole system they have set up. Hmm. Do the guards know about? That's crazy. But I'm wondering, like, is it just a whole bunch of wouldn't it be a dead giveaway if like a bunch of dudes are like crowded around this one particular area just trying to see some some TNA? You know what I'm saying? Like some 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 incarcerated TNA. I don't know. This is this is very interesting. And comical. I mean, if they catch you, they'll tell you get your, you know, get up, get over there. We know what you're doing. Get out of the room. 
You know? Oh my God. Do you get in, do you get into trouble for it? Like what what would happen? What would happen if the lookout maybe didn't get to the guy in time and he was caught uh, having his conversation or his business uh, with his uh, lady friend? Good it question. Depends because you could fish things as well through there. So like notes and things like that. So if they catch you fishing, you're gonna get a ticket. But if not, they'll just tell you to get up. And if you get the wrong cop, like a high rank, they might give you a ticket or a shot or something like that. But usually they just tell you to get out the room. So you can actually send kites, Crazy. those little uh, prison notes through yeah. to the to the ladies yeah. below? Mm-hmm, yes, yeah. Can they get notes <laughs> up to you? Is it just as easy for them to get a note up to you through the grate? You can make a lot of gadgets in prison. I've seen it all, yes. And they call it fishing, how how fitting. But still, uh, you know, you're you're sending information back and forth. And of course, you know, by any means necessary, right? I mean, if there's a will, there's most definitely a way. Um, so that's that's some crazy stuff. I mean, this is real. And Diddy could very well be doing this. This is what's being alleged that he could be talking to, but that's weird. You know, at, at this moment right now, I feel like he should be like a monk right now just hold up focused on his trial focused on trying to get out of the situation not be trying to talk to some scattered age it, it, you know scattered incarcerated age that you're not even going to really see or talk to at all you know what i'm saying <laughs> this is crazy this is like so crazy okay yeah. there it is so the allegations Nuts. against Diddy are that he's surrounded himself at these freak off parties with some very, very beautiful women and men and lots of fancy things. And uh, I'm imagining it's not quite the same in this. No, 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 Hail to not. Not. I mean, definitely not his type. I don't I don't see him uh, getting involved in that. So what like would all of the female inmates be involved in that or just some of them? Yeah, a lot of them do. Yeah, a lot of them are serving time down there, you know, well, you know, waiting to go to jail for somewhat years. And um, yeah, they do that. You know, they try to get the men to take care of them, send them commissary money, things like that. How do they, so can they actually see their faces and develop a real relationship? Or are you sort of looking through a grate and wondering who is that yeah, that like, I'm talking yeah, to? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But they try to send pictures like through the mail. So like you, if you hook up, if you meet this girl there, they'll try to like get your information and have their family send pictures. You know what I mean? To you. So now you'll see what she really looks like. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's even... That's crazy. So you see somebody and you just see her ankle and you're like, mm, got her talk to that ankle. And then you start a conversation and then you don't know the truth until she actually sends you a photo that her family sends to you. And imagine that conversation, right? Uh, honey, wh why do you want us to send a, a photo to Tyrone in, in 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 this in this prison? Oh, well, he saw my ankle and he thought I was so pretty. Huh? Make that make sense? Ah, uh, so you don't even know who this. And then you see them. It's like dun dun dun. I've been catfished by an ankle. Ah, oh, this is insane. Like, I don't even know. <laughs> that sounds like crazy. I can't even imagine. How do yeah. they even know who it is they want to send the picture to? Yeah, it's, you know, it's there ridiculous. must be quite a vast. Yeah, it's a whole operation, but yeah. you definitely uh, have full blown relationships in there. Yes. Wow. Crazy. And so the other thing that we've been hearing is that he's uh, in the same unit as Sam Bankman Freed. Um, what are you hearing about that? Do you keep up with anybody? Do you know what the situation is in that uh, Four North? I was with Sam Bakeman as well. Um, I got in trouble for Sam. A guy was picking on him, and I actually went to the hole for Sam Bakeman. Um, oh, wow. A guy was trying to bother him for money, and I actually beat the guy up from. Yeah, and I went to the box for that for like 90 days. Yeah. Wow. So what What yes. was the guy trying wow. to do to, to Sam, and why? Uh, he was trying to get a 1000 bucks out of him, and I kept on telling, telling Sam, this is a safe place. This is an environment where it's not like that. You know, um, this guy was just trying to intimidate him a little bit and make him like, Oh, this is a dangerous place. It's not a dangerous place. Four North is a picnic. There's nothing going on there. You can walk around with your sandals on. You know, you have no worries. You no one's getting stabbed or jumped or cut. That's on the other side. You know, you're in a safe place. And they were trying to make Real it like them. it's not safe. Yes. 
Uh, Sam may it may have known nothing about this world. Diddy right. sings about it, uh, you know, celebrates it. His art is is almost about this world. I almost feel like Diddy knows a heck of a lot more than Sam. Do you think anybody's going to try and shake Diddy down or uh, make a name uh, coming after Diddy? If he's not in Four North, they don't care about who Diddy is. R. Kelly was in there, and he was getting beat up in the regular side. So they don't really care about who you are. They go by your crime. And according to the... Hold up, hold up. So is R Ara? Aura got attacked and he was getting attacked on the day. Wow. He said attacked on the daily on the reg y'all. That's insane. The real population of prison. He has crime on women. So that's not accepted anywhere. So he would have a problem anywhere he goes besides the four north because they don't like the rape cases and the, you know, allegations against mm. them. They're not really going to be okay with that in population or they'll have to pay his way, you know, for protection. Thanks for watching. Yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy. Um, and of course, hearing that that you know these that uh, they don't take kindly to our case, our cases, uh, um, SA cases, so on and so forth. That inmates do not like that kind of stuff, and they will treat you just like it, as if you were some sort of PDF. If you get what I'm saying, um, they will treat you that kind of way as well. Um, so that's very interesting too. So Diddy getting moved into another area aside from the facility in the area that he's in right now, um, he's much safer where he's at right now. And of course he'll be in, in that area until the trial. Cause let's be real. Um, he does have a bond appeal hearing on Friday. There is an evidentiary hearing going on today, this afternoon, but he's going to get denied. He will indeed get denied any type of bail so he will be on that side until his actual trial and then of course he'll probably get thrown out the gym pop or whatever the situation is set up for him but no matter what this is crazy this is absolutely crazy that you would go and try to you know try to holler at ladies you know uh lady inmates through a peephole now i get it we're, we're all we all got blood running through our veins we all need a little something something we all need a love OK, we all need a little bit of love to get us through the day. And that love doesn't work because, you know, his he goes by love now, too. But anyway, regardless. Sometimes you just got to keep it in your pants. You, a lot of times, actually, you just got to keep it in your pants. And especially with Diddy, if this is entirely true. Diddy really needs to be on his P's and Q's. Like I said, he needs to go into his cell and go into monk mode. L literally, monk mode. Don't talk to nobody except your lawyers, except your family. Keep focused. Do those push-ups. Do those calisthenics. Do whatever the hell you need to do to get your mind right for this particular trial. Not trying to holler at some scattered inmate age across the way when you only see an elbow come on but that's insane if this is true it's hilarious it's really sad but absolutely insane anyway guys that's the video comment down below let me know what your thoughts are hit that like button down below let's not forget to crush that subscribe button please and thank you and i'll be talking to you guys very very soon be good to yourselves be good to one another <laughs> throwing fishing <laughs> We'll talk soon. This is the Pascal Show. Bye. P A S C A L. You are now rocking with that dude, Pascal. We'll be going wild.